I love taking weddings. It's one of the best parts of my job. There's no doubt that people, even if they're not particularly religious, value a church wedding. They find it rich in meaning and so many simply say it feels right. Many of these couples really go on to flourish. A good marriage, we know, helps you to live longer, feel happier, it even boosts your bank balance. In other words, a loving, faithful, stable relationship is good for you. Now, the faith that I preach is all about God's total, accepting, unconditional love. Why would I imagine that such a loving God blesses such a wonderful relationship for straight people, but forbids it for gay people simply on the basis of the way they're born? I cannot with any integrity say to my gay friends, yes, God loves you, but not enough to affirm your loving, stable, faithful relationship. I cannot preach that God's love is partial. Who'd want to believe in a God like that? It would be huge progress if David Cameron were able to legislate for gay marriage. We would soon see that, as in many other countries, the sky doesn't fall in. The church would grow to understand that far from damaging the fabric of society, as some suggest, Marriage equality would be a strengthening and stabilising influence, one which they could affirm without fear. God is clearly blessing gay relationships. I see it all the time, and that's why I'm out for marriage.